What's going on guys, Cat Michael Bell back here with another Eastern Current fly tying video for y'all. So today we are actually going to be talking about EP brushes and a way you can make them on your own. This is the DIY brush that we're going to do. I just twisted this up and filmed myself making it. EP brushes, they're not the easiest thing in the world, but once you figure them out, they're really not too bad. It takes a little bit of know-how just in making the jig and some different things, but you can make some really cool stuff like this one. I've got a couple from the other day over here. These are actually some, got some stuff on them, but it's an olive and tan with some olive legs on it. And this is an olive with some blues in it and some olive legs. But, you know, kind of the sky's the limit with these, which is awesome. Um, you can make any color combination that you want. You can add any materials that you want, add different flash, different legs, all that kind of stuff, and really tailor it to what you're doing or what you need specifically instead of having to go out and buy it. So this here's the jig that I made. It's about eight inches tall or so on the sides. And then it's about 16 inches from one side to the other. I got some pencil marks down here. So I measured one inch off this end down through here, one inch increments. On either end, this is, on this end, this is your anchor point. And you want the spring here because otherwise as you're twisting this and that wire starts to shorten up as you're twisting it around all these materials, if you don't have some kind of give, you're never going to be able to get the amount of twist that you need to lock those fibers in and really hold them before the wire breaks. So this took me a long time to kind of figure out. I saw some other people that had done it and I kept trying to figure out like what the key or the secret was to it. That right there made a world of difference for me. So this is just a... Um, standard spring from Home Depot you can get some different styles but that's a that's a pretty stiff spring um, and then on this end this is just an eye hook and I've drilled a hole through this piece of plywood this three-quarter or half inch plywood and as it comes through it's just screwed into a little piece of wood here I like something that's got a little bit of length to it I think these are about yeah six inches or so um, and that way it's easy to twist and as that spring pulls um i have a little bit of a plastic spacer in there but you can you can leave it wood to wood it will make it a little easier though if you've got a shim or something in there um and then lastly there's going to be this little table and this little table is just a that's just a piece of mdf that i had left over and i've got some little riser blocks in here just to hold it um, but as you, once you run your wire and you'll see when the video that this just makes it easy to be able to stack all your materials on and to hold everything in place until you're ready to start twisting as you're building it up. But... Alright, so to get started here guys, we're going to take our, get our wire here. This is a UTC, um, made by Wopsy. It's just their standard ultra wire. Today it's going to be in a red color. You can use uh, any colors you would like, but so what I'll do is come down here. I'm going to actually just make a little loop here. Just twist that tag in around just like you're doing any kind of other normal wire rigging. So you just want to make sure that thing's going to hold. And we're going to come down here. So we got an eye hook that goes into our little handle. Loop that around the eye hook. Then on this end, we got our spring. It's got the hole in it. We're gonna run that through once. So the big thing with this is you just don't want to kink your wire if at all possible, just because it's gonna definitely weaken it. So wire, and I'm gonna wrap this tag in underneath twice. Pull that out, put a little bit of tension on there, run your finger down, it's going to put that thing, there we go. You can kind of see this wire is just tight, it's not super duper tight, but it's got some tightness to it. And that's going to be key to being able to get this little board out from underneath once we get all of our brush laid up and started here. So next up, I've already gone ahead and cut all of my materials. So next thing I'm gonna do is a Congo hair. This is very, very similar to your EP brush fibers. Um, this is by Fly Tires Dungeon. I just 
this stuff's a little bit cheaper so when you're cutting it up by the big handfuls and making brushes and stuff it's a little bit easier to swallow than doing a 12 15 dollar pack of uh, ep fibers so we're just going to spread these out they don't have to be perfect um so go ahead and get them on there and you want to try to center this up as absolute best as possible so now all of these materials that i'm laying on here i've cut to about an inch and a half in thickness looking pretty good there all right next thing i'm gonna do so i just took some craft fur this is just a, a tan craft fur and cut it into very similar lengths so i'm just gonna spread that out i'm just gonna start laying that over top Um, and I just like mixing a little bit of colors or mixing a little bit of materials. It gives it a little better flow, that kind of stuff. You can keep it straight Congo hair. You can even make just a straight craft fur brush. Um, but that one's totally up to you. So next thing here, I've got some copper um, mixed with some gold and a little bit of white flash. So we're just going to take that. Next up is going to be our legs here. Um, and these are just some, some cheap off-brand rubber legs that I found on Amazon. All right, this is where it starts getting tricky. So now we're gonna take this wire, this is our tag-in wire, run it down here. Now with this, I already kind of messed up. So you wanna make sure that you lay it down. You wanna trap all that stuff in between these two pieces of wire. And we're gonna wrap it around our eye hook down here. Double looped it, and I'm just going to kind of pull tight. There we go. 
The wire's not willing to cooperate today. There's not a ton of space, but there's a little bit of space here. So what I like to do is kind of pull on this. It's gonna help really put those two wires together. I'm just gonna kind of push this board. The big thing you don't want to do is let this brush get turned sideways and dump everything out from between those two pieces of wire. So just take your time. You can do it. There we go. Now, what we're going to do, now we got everything suspended, is just start twisting. So next up, my favorite way of doing this is going to be grabbing a, a Furminator dog brush. And we are actually going to start on this end. I'm just going to kind of lightly get in there and just kind of brush it out. And it's not even as much of a brush as it is kind of a pick and pull. You just want to get these teeth down in there and start loosening up those fibers along the wire. You can already see it's really starting to open up. Get those little clumps out. And we're gonna keep keep spinning here. And once I get to that point, come back in here. Every twist that you make, this brush is going to get more durable, so you can brush it more heavily and really pick at it now. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where your wire is going to break on one end or the other. And that's just going to be your quitting point. And so you know you've reached kind of the maximum fatigue point of this wire. Boom. There it is. All right. I'm going to pull this end off. All right there guys, it's a DIY brush. So as you can see, there's some loose, some loose stuff in there. And if you get an adjustable draw vise, or even you can hook it back on there, finish doing some brushing out if you need to. This one looks pretty good and the core is still pretty thin, which is what I'm looking for. So that's our, that's our DIY EP brush. Hopefully y'all can take this, build off of it, you know, tailor whatever you're doing in your area um, with EV brushes, you know, in the jig. It's not too terribly complicated, so hopefully I, this is just what I've designed. It's what I've created that I found that works for me, but I know there's definitely some modifications that could be made to definitely make it a little more streamlined. But thank you all for tuning in and joining us here on another Eastern Current Fly Time video. Hopefully we'll be bringing you some more here soon, so catch you on the next one.